Oh, Clay, how y'all doing out there? This is Cecil McGay, and I'm straight out of Rancho Clay, Arkansas. I got my blue gloves on, rubber gloves. Rubber gloves are very important when you're doing it yourself because you don't want to get your hands dirty while you're doing it. So always wear your blue rubber gloves. Rubber gloves are beautiful gloves, and beautiful gloves is what we want over here. How y'all doing tonight? Uh, this is a situation where possibly we might need some extra light in the house. And as you can see, when the lights go out, it gets really dark. But the real situation we have right now is a situation that says, what if you're driving your vehicle down the road and all of a sudden your vehicle quits running? The motor blows up, the motor locks up, the transmission goes out, you get three or four flats at a time, and you're stranded. You're stranded out in the middle of nowhere with no light, no electricity, no nothing. That's what Cecil McGee's here for. He's going to show you how to make a flashlight out of common, simple situations and, and situations that says we're going to make it out of car parts on our old car that just broke down. That's not going to run anymore because we're going to go ahead and scrap that car out and we're not going to use it. But we're stranded. Remember, we're stranded on the highway in the middle of nowhere and it's pitch black dark outside. And, and we get into our glove box and what do we find? We find the flashlight. The flashlight that says, I can find my way home because I do have light now. Do we have light? I don't have any light. The light is not working. Or possibly the light works, but it's real dim because the batteries are dead. And it's not going to give you enough light to get home because it's telling you that's saying, I'm scared. I am terrifiably scared at night in the dark woods because my motor just blew up and I can't get nowhere but nothing. So what are we going to do, Cecil? You tell me. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. Cecil McGee is going to show you how to make a flashlight to get you back home into the safety of your house and behind locked doors. Follow me as we get our trip out to the junk car that just blew up and get everything we need to make an emergency flashlight and make it work. get started on this little project because remember our car just broke down we're out in the middle of nowhere it's pitch black it's middle of the night and we can't see a thing in front of us if our hands are like that close because that's how dark it is at night so what do we got to do to get the provisions we need so the culprit that we need which is a flashlight is going to work for us before we get started let's see what tools we're going to use to get this job done so if we look right here, we can see we got three culprits that are going to do the job for us. And one of them is a big hammer. Always need a big hammer. Big hammer is the best tool you'll ever own. Especially if it's a claw hammer. Make sure it's a giant handle, just like you're looking at. Hammer, and keep it with you all the time. The next thing we're going to need is some nice, juicy, and pliable that aren't too rusty. You can see these are old, but they still work. Wire cutters. This is actually made not just for wire, but also tin. We can cut metal with this. So this is a good tool to have at all times in case you need to cut some wire to make an emergency flashlight. And then of course our last and final tool we're gonna to need is our hacksaw. And you can see that my hacksaw actually is busted, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that hacksaw to make it work. What you wanna do is hook it on to one end. You can see that I'm missing an end right here. I'm missing an end, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that to make it work, cause this is a DIY. And I'm gonna do it myself and show you how to do it. You wanna get a roll of electrical tape. Electrical tape is a good situation, especially if you're working with electricity. This is the tape of choice right here, and this is the tape that we're gonna use. So we're gonna take that electrical tape, we're gonna stick it on our handle just like that. We're gonna bring it around. We're gonna wrap that tape around that blade to make sure that it sticks on there nice and juicy, just like that. Once that's stuck on there, we're gonna hook it like this, and then we're gonna make that a nice little fish hook situation where it goes through the handle just like that, and then we'll tape that on there to hold it securely 
just like so. We're gonna hook it back over here and the son of a bitch didn't hold. Let me show you how we're gonna fix that. If tape doesn't work, always rely on vice grips. Vice grips are a handy situation. They're adjustable. It's a nice tight tool to say, I'm gonna put my blade right there and then I'm gonna tighten my vice grips down to hold it on there, cause this is an emergency. And when you're in an emergency situation, you got to be able to use your brain and go tick tock, tick tock. So we're gonna tighten that down right there. If I can get that on there and adjust it to the right size, it might help out. We're going to take our vice grips and we're going to go just like that and tighten it down if I can get a hold of it just like that. And now we got us a nice beautiful hacksaw to do the job that we need to do. Now that we got all the tools necessary to begin our venture, I'm sorry I forgot to tell you, you're also going to need some tape. Now the tape of choice that we're going to use here is some packing tape because it's clear. Clear packing tape is the choice of tape on this little venture, and this is what's gonna make the job easy when it comes time to make the flashlight. So now that we got all our tools bundled up, let's go outside and let's put the scenario in action and show you just what to do when you break down in the middle of the night, it's pitch black dark, and you need something to see with. Preferably a flashlight that actually works. As you can see, we got some bad flashlight action here and we're gonna make sure that we get the job done right. Because if we're not doing it right, we're not doing it at all. Let's get outside and see what's going on with the vehicle that just broke down and the motor blew out and the transmission's gone and we don't have no power. So before you leave the house and go out to the dark, dirty road out in the country and, 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 and break down, you gotta make sure you got all your tools. So we're gonna go ahead and grab all our tools and make sure that they're in the vehicle when we go and do what we need to do. So we'll go ahead and gather our tools up just like this. The only three tools we're gonna need is right there. That's it, that's the situation. And you're gonna be deliciously surprised to see what we're gonna do to make us an emergency flashlight in the middle of the night when it's pitch black dark and you can't see this close in front of you. So let's get outside there to the culprit of the situation. The car that says it's going to do the job and it's going to make sure that we make a flashlight because that's what my friend Cecil McGee's here. I didn't say my friend. Don't use that. My friend people get mad. I'm Cecil McGee straight out of Ratchet Lake, Arkansas. So let's get down to dirty ditty deeds and get it done. So to get down and dirty and make sure that the job turns out right, we're gonna make sure that our car has four headlights. That's the deal right there. That's the mother load right there. Make sure that your car that you're driving that the motor blows up in in the middle of the night has four headlights. Two headlights will work, but my, but Cecil McGee just can't guarantee the situation will work out properly because it really takes four headlights to do the job. So you broke down on the road, the situation is the motor blew up, the transmission's gone, you got four flats and you can't go nowhere and it's two o'clock a.m. in the morning and what are we gonna do? The first thing we're gonna do is get some wire out of the car. We got to get the wire out of the car so we can make some electricity. Okay, we're inside the car and, and we just found out that our motor blew up and we don't have any way to see anything in the middle of the night. We need to get some wire. And what we're going to do is this is where our hammer, remember I told you about that big hammer? That's the situation because we're going to use the claw in. And of course, we're going to use our wire cutters to get that wire out of the car. Be very careful not to cut the wrong wires in case you want to fix your car back to normal. Because if you do, you're screwed. So we're going to reach up inside here just like this and we're going to cut that wire. We're going to cut that wire just like that. And then once we get it cut, what we'll do is take our claw hammer, just like you see Cecil McGee doing, and we're going to hook onto that wire like a fish, and we're going to pull it out. Just, just pull it out. Pull the wire out of the car, get it started. And oh my God, I think we got way too much wire here. I hope my friend thing doesn't get mad. Uh-oh, what happened in there? What's going on? I'm looking in the hole right there. Uh-oh, I think we might be in a little bit of trouble. It looks like we cut the wrong wires. We 
got the fuse box with us, but that's okay. We might need that for a breaker switch. So now that we got the wire that we need, the next thing we need to do is get us a handle for our flashlight. Let's get to the back of the car where the exhaust system is and see what we can do about that. Okay, alrighty then. Now that we got our wire, let me get down here so I can see you. Now that we got my wire, the next thing we need to do is we need to get inside the back end of the car. We're going to go up under the car and we're going to cut a piece of that exhaust pipe off because that's going to be our handle for our flashlight. Our bright, very bright flashlight. These are the culprits right here. We got our hammer once again, very important tool, and of course our hacksaw. Okay, now that we're down here next to the rear bumper of the car, we're going to crawl up underneath and we're going to cut part of that hat. We're going to hacksaw part of that, that, that exhaust pipe off. Hopefully it's not rusting out and all right at the shit because we need a good handle to hold our flashlight with because we got a long way to walk. Remember, we're stuck out in the dark. Let's get up under there and cut that baby off. Okay, so I'm going to get up under here just like this and I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to cut, cut more until I can get it cut and i got to cut it because cutting is the only way to do it. It's a cutting situation under here. I wish you were here to do this for Cecil okay? but I'm stuck here doing it by myself. I'm going to take my hammer and I'm going to hit that exhaust pipe. I'm going to hit that exhaust pipe. I'm going to hit it again and I'm going to hit it again and then I'm going to take my trusty hacksaw and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut. And then once I cut and then I take my hammer and I, I, I hit it again, guess what happens? We finally get our exhaust pipe out of the vehicle. So you want to be able to drag that exhaust pipe out very easily and very easily because it might be hot. You don't want to burn your hands as you look at the exhaust pipe and touch it because your motor just blew up. It might have blew fire out the exhaust. So now that we got the exhaust pipe situation going, let's go up to the front of the car and get the light of choice to make our bright and unusual flashlight that's going to get us home. Okay, remember I told you you had to have a car that had four headlights? It's very preferably that you do. Well, this is the situation we got. We got four headlights. The light of choice that we're going to use is this one right here. This is the headlight we're going to use because that's the brightest headlight of the two. Let's go ahead and get that out, and we're going to go ahead and use our big hammer to do that. So to get the headlight out, I'm going to take the claw in again, and I'm going to stick it in there, and I'm going to pry that out. I'm going to pry, son of a bitch. And then once we pry enough, we got our headlight out of the car, but we got a situation here. Uh, the lens just broke off the headlight when I pried it out, and it's a situation that says we got some more DIY to do besides making the headlight itself. Let's get inside before everything breaks and get this headlight made so I can show you how to find your way home on a dark, dirty road in the middle of nowhere after your car blew up. Ooh. I can't believe that. The headlight lens just busted off. Son of a bitch. Ow. Alrighty then, now that we're inside, we got everything we need, let's go ahead and make that flashlight and make it work properly so you can find your way home in a dark, dirty, desolated area where your motor just blew up because well, you're driving a four-headed, yeah, headlight car and we need to make a flashlight to get you home. Ooh. Okay, remember I told you the headlight busted when we took it out? Don't break the filament. The filament's very important. Uh, yeah, you can always fix that, and I'm going to show you how. It's a very bad situation. I'm not too happy about it, but that's okay. We're going to still make it work. The first thing that you want to do is get your wire harness that you pulled out of the vehicle and strand it out to the longest length that you can find. Now, looking at our handle that we took out the exhaust pipe, it's going to have to be a long wire situation. And this is where our other tool comes in called the wire cutters and strippers, I might say. So we're going to untangle that nasty, dirty wire harness and we're going to see if we can get some nice long wires out of here that we'll be able to use uh, for what we need to do. I don't know if we're going to be able to, 
because this is really tangled up real, real bad. But that's okay, Cecil McGee can handle the situation just fine. Okay, as you can see, we have stretched that out pretty longly. What we want to do is we want to get a couple wires out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the top. I'm going to cut three or four wires off just like that. And then I will trace them down and cut the other ends off. And it looks like the culprit is right there. I'm hoping that's right. There's a lot of wires in here. A lot of wires. There we go, just like that. Okay, is that going to be long enough for our tube? I believe it is. All right. So now that we got our wire, can I get rid of this? Thank you. We're going to throw this away because we don't need it anymore. We don't need it. So we're going to throw it away just like that and get rid of it. Make sure when you get your wire out of your vehicle that it's got two colors, two different colors. That's very important. And what we're going to do is we are going to take our wire cutter strippers again and we're going to strip a nice long lengthy piece off of that wire just like that. So you see so far so good everything's working out dandy. Once our wire's cut, we got to get some attention toward this headlight. If you remember the headlight when I pried it out, it broke. So what we got to do is we got to get that sealed beam sealed up again. And that's where my friend, let me tell you how it is, guy, is going to take some clear tape and we're going to tape that baby right on there. This is the situation that says I need clear tape when I travel all the time. Because if you don't have clear tape, this will not be available for you to do. And when you don't have a razor blade or a knife, the best thing to do is take your teeth or right there and cut it off. So now we got our shield beam back together. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start wiring this baby up. We're gonna turn our headlight over and we're gonna take our wires, the raw wires. Remember those long wires that I took out of the car? Uh, we don't want to mention to my friend Pete that I took the whole wire harness out because we just needed two wires. But anyway, we get back to the situation here. What we're going to do is we're going to take these wires, we're going to twist them up nice and handy, make sure they're nice and tight. And all you got to do is take your finger like this and twist. All you do is twist, just twist it together, just like that. Let me show you one more time. You take your fingers, you hold all the wires, and then you twist them. And then you twist again, and you twist until you have a nice clean wire that you can say, I did that. That's a nice wire, and I love it. Because when you're doing it yourself, you want to make sure that you do the best job you can. Did I already mention that? Okay, just making sure. And I just want to apologize if this video seems like it's getting out of the hand here in a little bit long. It's not my fault. It's not my fault because I want to make sure you, the viewer, is going to do it right, do it right. Because if you ain't doing it right, you ain't doing it all. Uh, uh, so please, please hang in there. We're almost done with the situation of, of finding the solution to do it right. Yeah, that's right. Please stay with me. Please. Okay, now that we got our line back together, we got our wires trimmed and cut and twisted, we're gonna take this little hole. You can see that on the headlight right there. There's a hole in the prong, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna slide that through that hole. We're gonna slide it just like that, just like that. Once we get it in there, we're gonna twist our wires around, as you can see me doing. I'm kinda getting a little quickly on this. We're really dragging this out and we want to get this flashlight made because it's getting dark out. And I don't want to be lonely in the dark without any flashlight or anything available when my car breaks down on the road. My four headlight car, that is. Okay, look what we got there. We got our headlight wired up. We got the sealed beam put back together. The next thing we're gonna do is get our flashlight working. And this is where our exhaust pipe comes in. We're gonna take our wire just like this. Now watch real close what I do because it's kind of hard to, to understand the situation. But I'm just gonna let you know I'm gonna get real close. And we're gonna run that wire right through that exhaust pipe. Just like that. That's how you wanna do it. That's the way. That's gonna be the situation that says my flashlight's gonna work and it's gonna work good. You gotta get that wire through there and pull it through the other end. Pull it through just like that. That's what you wanna do. 
And then once you get your wire through, go ahead and shuck it up onto the headlight, just like that. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get our clear tape. Did I tell you I had a tape machine? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tape our headlight to this exhaust pipe. If I can do that. Let's see if we can do that real quickly, like, and get it done. So we're gonna take our clear tape just like this, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it that way, and then we're gonna come around here. That's why the situation is, you got to make sure you're carrying clear tape, which is very important that you use clear tape and not duct tape. Some people say duct tape's better, but I think clear tape works just as good. Packing tape. And now what we got, we got us a nice secure headlight onto our giant handle that's gonna guide us home. Okay, as you can see, our flashlight is almost done. Hang in there, we're almost done. One thing we forgot though is we forgot to get the battery out of the car. We need our battery to get juice to that flashlight. So make sure when you get a battery, you got a handle on it that you can carry your battery with when you're walking through the dark, desolate areas where your car broke down in the middle of the night and you can't see more than that, it's way in front of you. Ugh. So I just happen to have a battery here that I'm going to borrow from my friend Pete. And you can see this is the battery of choice. Make sure it has a handle or some type of way to carry it. If not, you're going to be in a hell of a stickle and say, son of a bitch, that's heavy. Then I mentioned vice grips. Vice grips are very important. Make sure you carry a couple pairs of those. I like needle nose myself. I don't know why but that's what I like. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that these fit on here just nice and tightly, just like this. And I think you can see where we're going with this now because it's real simple and easy to figure out, but I do wanna finish the video, so please bear with me. Bear with me just for a second and we'll be done. Okay, we got our vice grips, we got our battery, we got our light. We went ahead and did a custom wire job on our flashlight. Let's hook this thing up and let's see if it's gonna work and do the job that we need it to do. So we're gonna take one wire and put it on one side of the battery, just like so. And then on the other side, we're gonna take our vice grips off, just like that. And when we touch that wire, you can see it's a working situation. Our flashlight is bright, our flashlight works. And see some gauge ready to go down the road and make sure that I can see clear, good and clearly inside. Yes, that's right. It works. It's a done deal. I got my flashlight. You can see that. I got my battery. I got my flashlight. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to get back home, get back in my four-wheel drive and say, hell yes, baby. It's a done deal. We'll see you later. Take it easy. And always remember, if you break down and your motor blows up and you get four flights and the transmission goes out, you got a mate right here. We got a flashlight. We're not going to get stuck on the road. Nobody's going to mug us. No one's going to rape us. And we're going to be safe, sound, and secure with our battery and our homemade flashlight. All right, then. This is Cecil McGay over here at DIY Do It Yourself Redneck Style. And I hope you're enjoying the show because this is the situation we have, taking some nothing and making something. This is my flashlight, I'm gonna go put that away. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this in my four x four truck in case I break down. I got me a flashlight that says, hell yes. We'll see you later, take it easy, and good luck when you break down in the middle of the night, out in the middle of nowhere, and you don't know what to do. And it's just that simple. That's all you got to remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's the way it is, bud. I got to go. We'll see you on the next one. DIY Redneck doing it right, doing it right. Because if you ain't doing it right, you ain't doing it at all. <laughs>
okay. How y'all doing over there? This is Cecil McKay. I hope you love that video I just made for you. Because if your engine breaks down and it blows up like a bomb, and you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere, you're going to need light to get home. That's why I was thinking that would be a pretty good video to make. Because that happened to be one time, and it really didn't do a good job. And... And you get the idea, because it's a situation that says we did it right, we do it right, and everybody's doing it right. And I want to do a little shout out to uh, a person out there that sent us a, a, a gift in the mail. Sent Cecil McGee a gift, and you can see it's a beautiful hat right here. I want to show you that. It's, it, it's kind of a variable hat where you just put all these little different designs on it. I kind of like the clown shoes. Myself, because we're not trying to be a clown over here. Ooh, hold on, man. Uh, my gum got stuck under my gum. Ooh, has that ever happened to you? Okay, there it is right there. Okay, we got our gum back. That's good, because I love my gum. But what I was trying to say, I'm sorry my glasses were falling off. I can't say without my glasses. I want to do a shout out. To this guy right here, I'm sorry, it's this guy right here. This is the guy that sent me that beautiful package and donated it to Cecil McGee's DIY Auto School. Uh, no, it's not Auto School. That's my friend Pete's Auto School. Uh, it's DIY Redneck School. Make sure you check my channel out. And, and I've got a bunch of beautiful videos. That's YouTube channel, DIY Redneck. And we're going to show you how to do a lot of stuff just like we did with our flashlight, but we want to do a shout out for this guy right here. Check him out online, son of a bitch. I just spit my gum out again. I'm gonna leave the gum out for a little while while I talk, because it's kinda hard to chew and talk at the same time when I'm talking about everything else. So let me do this. I'm gonna put that card up there. And do yourself a favor and check this guy out online. And maybe you can buy one of these beautiful hats with these beautiful little designs that go on it. Look at all them designs he gave me. That's, yeah, it's pretty nice situation for Cecil McGee. Real 4x4 four four action going on right here. And if you're a 4x4 four four guy, you definitely want one of these right there. So give him a good shout out. And, and anybody that wants to donate anything to Cecil McGee, I'm not going to be shy and say give it to me. I need it. I'm not going to be like my friend Pete and be a hardhead. Give me something. Send Cecil McGee anything in the mail. I love it. I love getting gifts in the mail. It shows how many people really love me and like what I'm doing. We'll see you later. Take it easy. And check my channel out, please. Go ahead. It's called DIY Redneck right here on YouTube. And do me a favor. Subscribe and leave a beautiful comment and tell me how my friend, I'm sorry I said my friend, don't ever do that. My name is Cecil McGee and I'm out of Ratchet Lake, Arkansas. Four by four country, beautiful place to be. So get on that channel and watch it. And I'm gonna go ahead and chew my gum. I got my gum. I got my military spec card right here. I'm gonna keep that in my wallet. When I get pulled over by the police, I'm gonna show them that. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll see you later. DIY Redneck for all of your specialty needs of doing it right. Yes, that's right. Okay, I think we said enough. But I hope you like the flashlight that I made for you. It's a beautiful flashlight. It's a flashlight that I worked my ass off to make and do right and properly for you. Son of a bitch. Ooh.